Rosetta is about to perform crucial orbit correction manoeuvres to ensure it's on target for Comet 67P churyumov gerasimenko These are the first images of the comet from the spacecraft's Osiris camera. But now, out in the coldness of deep space, Rosetta needs to put on the brakes. So thrusters will begin to significantly slow down the spacecraft on May the 21st, when it is one million kilometres away from the comet. And as it gets closer, further images will improve the corrections and provide more details about the comet's shape, size and rotation. By the beginning of August, nine thruster burns, including the small test burn in early May, will ensure that the relative speed between the comet and the spacecraft has been reduced from 750 metres per second to 1 metre per second. The distance between them will then be just under 200 kilometres. Well, the first key stage is the approach to the comet, but this is something we are uh, relatively confident. If the spacecraft behaves as we expect, we are confident we can do the approach phase to the comet. The key element is really when we reach the comet and we have to characterize the comet. Without that element, we will never have a Rosetta mission. Many of the spacecraft's 21 onboard instruments have already been at work during the 10-year journey, such as the orbiter's miniaturized microwave instrument, Miro. Built by an international team from France, Germany, Taiwan and the United States, it's the first instrument of its kind to have flown to the outer edges of our solar system. And it took temperature measurements during flybys of asteroid Steins and Lutetia. From late May onwards, Miro will turn its attention to the comet nucleus, measuring gases that are released as the comet approaches the Sun. It has a lot of capabilities that tell us uh, how much gas is present, how fast the gas is flowing away from the comet, and um, in particular, uh, it's a very sensitive instrument for, uh, for measuring water. Water can be found as a vapour in the halo or coma around a comet nucleus and in its tail, and in ice form in the nucleus itself. Scientists want to study how water sublimates on the comet, going from a solid to a gas without the liquid phase. But the priority now is to put on the brakes and over the next 90 days gradually reduce its speed until Rosetta is doing what no spacecraft has done before, flying alongside and orbiting a comet.